Tonight, Yale University saying little about reports of two sexual assaults at a frat house. Yale police say the attacks happened at an on-campus party, but New Haven police tell us no one has reported those attacks to them. Hi everybody, glad you're with us tonight. I'm Darren Kramer. And I'm Ann Craig. These two alleged attacks come as the university works to change its image and better respond to reports of attacks and rapes. Now, as we said, this happened off campus at a home on High Street. We've been working this story all day trying to get more information. News 8's Aaron Logan is live in our New Haven newsroom with more on how students are reacting to all of this. Aaron? Well, and Darren, you may remember Yale was under fire by the Department of Education for failing to report sexual assaults. Now students tell us they've seen a big difference and they do feel safe on campus. But in this case, the alleged sexual assaults happened at an off-campus fraternity house. That house is occupied by the Sigma Phi Epsilon fraternity, the same fraternity named in two lawsuits following a Harvard-Yale tailgate that left one woman dead and two others injured. When Austin Carter's girlfriend isn't by his side, he says he's not worried about her safety on and around campus when it comes to sexual assaults. We don't spend time in places like where at least this most recent incident occurred. This is where Yale University police say two recent incidents happened. The Sigma Phi Epsilon fraternity house on February 8th. They say the victims were undergraduate students and the assailants are also students. No one came to the door at the fraternity, but we did reach out to its president, Andrew Goebel, who hasn't gotten back to us. But Goebel tells the Yale Daily News, quote, the members of Yale's SIGEP chapter were shocked and saddened to hear allegations that sexual assault may have occurred in our facility on an evening when the chapter had leased event space to another campus organization. We asked the university about their protocol for renting out rooms at frat houses. We were told Yale doesn't own the home or operate a fraternity system. We found that the fraternity bought the home back in 2006. It's a really hard situation for the fraternity's case and for the obviously the person who was subjected to this. A number of students did tell us that they feel the university keeps them very informed about sexual assaults reported. Just last year, the Department of Education cited Yale for failing to report four forcible sex offenses that took place in 2001 and 2002. I think that uh, like they, the university has made a ton of efforts to make the climate better, at least in really like apparent ways, really public ways. Now, no victims have come forth to New Haven police, but the university says they are taking these cases very seriously and reminds students how important it is to report sexual assaults. As of this moment, the fraternity is still allowed to operate as usual and has not been suspended. Live in the New Haven newsroom, Aaron Logan, back to you in the studio.